So now that I've put a couple of pictures in here, I'll show you, we'll start to play around with the blending. And so one of the first things we're going to do when you want a, a book cover to really pop out and get that contrast, usually it's going to be a lot of lights and darks. And one easy way to do it is to put a vignette. A vignette is kind of a darkening of the corners. So you're going to want to make the colors darker around the edges. The easiest way to do that is just download another image that's a PNG or a graphic that you can just layer over the top. You can search for grunge border. If you search for grunge border, you're going to find a lot of this kind of stuff. And those are really good to blend over the top of a cover just to give it a little bit of gritty texture around the edges. But you could also search for, and some of them you'll even find, if I search for image image for grunge border, some of them are already transparent PNGs, which means that it's got the black around the edges, but this white space is not actually white, it's transparent. So you could just put it on top of the cover and you would automatically show, your picture would, would shine through and you would only have the dark edges on the outside which is pretty useful, but you don't need that because with the blending that you can do with the online book cover tool, um, you get rid of that white space anyway. But I'm also going to search for a few vignette PNG, and you're going to find a whole bunch of stuff like this. There are other ways to, to make this effect. Oops. Let me find my folder I'm using. So I'm just going to grab one of these and drag it over and save it to my desktop. You can pick one that looks about right. Depends on the genre and what effect you're going for, but just a basic way to darken the edges quickly. You just grab something kind of like this, and that's going to work really well. I happen to be in Prague right now and the internet is slower than I'm used to, which is kind of frustrating. I probably have some of these saved already. Um, I download these all the time. So I've got a few on my computer I can use. But you can just search for some of these and download them and then you'll be able to use them. I'll probably put a folder together also and have some built in. If I go back to my tool, I'm just going to open another image and I'll grab one of these vignettes that I've saved before. And so this one's a transparent um, PNG already, so that's why you see the color on the edges but you don't see it in the middle. And I'm going to rotate it. If you put your cursor around the edge, any of these corners, you'll see that circle arrow that's rotate. It's a little bit hard to get it exactly. Once you rotate it, it's hard to get it to line up exactly again, but that's really fine because you can just make it a little bit bigger and then it doesn't really matter if it's perfect. That's a different color though. What I wanted to do was darken the edges. So I'm gonna go down here to layers and instead of normal, I'm gonna choose darken or multiply. The most powerful ones are probably lighten and multiply, overlay and screen. There's really two basic things you can do. You can either make the darks darker and the whites kind of disappear, or if you do lighten or screen, you'll make the lights lighter and the darks will disappear. So I'm gonna to go to multiply and that'll just make these edges darker. And if I want to make them even darker, I could probably, you can use the, I'm on a PC, so I can go control, copy, control, paste on my keyboard, and that'll duplicate that layer. And so now I've got two layers with dark edges just to make it a little bit darker. There's other ways to do this as well, to make the edges kind of darker. And I'm gonna try adding a, um, a grungier one. So I'm gonna grab one of these. These are grunge frames that I've gotten before. And when you add one of these, this one's PNG too, so it's just, it's already transparent. You wouldn't want a grunge texture on every book cover, um, depends on the genre. But on a lot of genres, 
having that little bit of dark gritty texture on the edges really makes the art in the center shine out and that's what you're going for so then now there's just a lot more contrast between this this light and the dark and now what you could do you really need it needs a person right about here and it, it might be hard to find the right kind of person that fits in with this genre. It really needs like a, a girl with an arrow or an elf or something. Um, I bet I could find one. If I search for girl with bow. I use 123rf.com a lot for my pictures. I also use iStock for a lot of pictures. Now, if you're looking for a character that you're going to blend in, you don't really want something with a lot of background. You could use it, but especially where I have this really solid white space, what I'm looking for is a darker character with white space around her. This one would be good, except she's in an office suit, so that doesn't really work. And there's other ways, like this would be good if, if it was just the girl and not that background. I could just use a picture like this if I wanted the girl. Um, you can also strip out the background, but it's not easy to do with this online tool. So I'd be looking at something more like this. This could actually work. So I'm gonna grab that one. It's not what I was looking for, but it, it could work. With this online tool, if you want to have a picture and, and crop out the background, in Microsoft Word, there's a tool that just does that quickly, and in Photoshop, there is too. Um, in this tool, there isn't, so you could send it to someone on Fiverr.com. There's a lot of people who will strip the background out for you on Photoshop, and they'll just send you back the character with a blank PNG space around it. They'll, they'll just kind of crop out all the background around the character. So if you have a really nice model that you want to use that has a background already, send it to someone on Fiverr, they'll send you a PNG back, and then you can just put that PNG with just the character and move her wherever you want, and that's going to fit and look really good. Let me see if this is... I'm going to see what else I have on my folder. I'm really looking for something kind of like this. I don't like straight silhouettes that are all black. I don't think they look very good. Um, it's okay if it's a pretty dark figure. And I could, because this is kind of fantasy, so I could use something like um, a girl in a dress, like something like that. But I want it to be pretty dark because it's really light behind her. I might actually try this one. Because I said that you don't really want something with a character because it's not easy to strip out the background. What I do have, though, in this tool is this eraser button down here where you can control the size and the softness. And I'm not going to be able to crop around her very well, but I might be able to do it just enough that it's going to look good on this picture. So I'd have to select this image and then start deleting. And it would take me a while. I could use a bigger eraser. It doesn't quite work because of this shoreline. That's going to be the hardest part. Oops. But I can try to get rid of most of this. I'm going to have to keep selecting this layer with the eraser button.
And it depends what kind of background it is, but like this was a pretty simple background, so I'm able to get most of it gone, at least noticeably gone. And it won't be perfect, but it's probably going to look good enough. The thing about with book covers, with a small figure like this, it might not be good enough for print, but also nobody's really going to notice the tiny details. Nobody's going to look at it with a magnifying glass. If it looks pretty good to your natural eye, nobody's going to really going to look in and see the tiny defaults. And I can get close enough. She's already got kind of a little glow that it looks pretty much like she fits in this scene. There's already some rocks down there on the ground. But then I kind of like, it's really nice to have the color contrast. So it's really great to have this blue background with the girl and the girl has more flesh tones because the flesh tones and the blue background make really good contrast. But if I wanted her to blend in a little bit more, oops, I missed a little bit. It already looks okay, but um, if I wanted to blend even more, I would go here and then blending. If you go multiply, it's going to make her really dark and she's going to fit in. I'm going to make her a little smaller. And um, when you do that, it keeps a little bit of her flesh tone, but it also gets rid of a lot of the lights and the colors. I'm going to have to go, once you're on a racer, that eraser stays, so you have got to go back to the arrow so you can grab it again and move her down. So that actually looks not so bad. I'm going to erase a tiny bit more I missed up here. And then I have to go to the arrow again to grab it. So that's with multiply, but I could also try, this is with lighten. Lighten just takes the light, so it gets rid of all the darks and just shows the lights. That doesn't work at all for me. And you can also try overlay. And overlay, it's kind of like a strong contrast, so it makes her kind of look ghostly, but that doesn't really work either. The multiply works the best. And if I want her to be even a little stronger, I can do that. Control C, Control V again, and Control and copy that layer. And I'm just duplicating that layer, so it's going to be a little stronger. Whoops. And so now it says my Flash plugin isn't responding, stop plugin, which is too bad. That'll happen sometimes if your internet isn't connected for a minute, or you have a problem with the, the speed. You want to save it just in case you get stuck and you lose your work. You want to save it pretty frequently. So you go save project. And then you'll, oops. So that's a bad example of, of what happens sometimes. It's because my internet is pretty bad right now. But if you have a solid internet connection, that's not going to happen. I'm going to stop the video here for a minute and I'll come back.